So today we are comparing these two G Master lenses. They are both the 16 to 35 G Master 2.8s. The big difference is this one in my hand is the G Master 1, and this one on the camera is the G Master 2. So let's go through and explain to you a few key differences between these lenses. So both lenses have the same adjustability as far as, um, you know, 16 to 35. They also both have manual and autofocus and then the focus button. So here's where it becomes a big difference. Looking at the one, that's where it ends. Looking at the G Master 2, there's a few key things added. So one thing you're gonna notice is there is this click on and off. There is this aperture ring, and that also allows you to lock the iris there. So what this means is if you do video with your camera, being able to lock or unlock the aperture and rotate it allows you to adjust your depth of field as you're in the middle of shooting video content. Why this is so important and game changer is if you're shooting content from one person to other and they're at different depths of field, like different uh, distances from you and you want them to be in focus, you can quickly adjust on the fly your aperture to make sure that they're staying in focus as you pan between them. You used to not be able to do this and this was a really hard effect to get right and you would have to have a cut. But now that they have this built into the camera or the lens, I should say, it's a huge game changer for people doing video. So why this also is so important is by doing it this way, you don't adjust the brightness of the uh, shot or anything else. You're really just adjusting the depth of field. So big difference on these two lenses. However, if you are only a photographer, you should save your money and buy the G Master 1. There's no reason to spend probably, a, I mean, it depends on when you're buying and where you're buying it, but at least $1,000 more and buying the two. It depends against if you get this like pre-owned or if you get it new but these just came out recently. So if I was shooting photos only, I would just buy this lens, the G Master 1. It's a great lens. However, if you're shooting crossover, you're doing photography, videography, things like that, I would highly suggest buying the G Master 2 straight off the bat. You're gonna be very happy you did and not regretting your decisions and looking back being like, man, now I have to buy another lens to get the shots I want. So. Those are really the key differences between these two lenses. The rest of the lenses are pretty much the same, minus a few structural changes. The G Master 2 is a slightly bit uh, lighter. It's also a slight bit shorter, but overall nothing that's gonna impact you day to day or be a huge game changer. They're similar enough. The big difference is the ability to adjust the aperture on the fly.